Hello and welcome to another Echo 3D tutorial using our Unity SDK updated for 2022. And this is an industrial training practice scene and this is for woodshop training specifically. First thing that you're going to do is you're just going to go over here and you're going to clone this repository and then open it up in Unity. So what you're going to do first is over here, I've gone ahead and added the Echo 3D hologram script to all four of the objects. And the intention is to repurpose the assets that you're using by simply uploading them to the Echo 3D cloud and then connecting them with an API key so that in reality, these 3D assets are actually living on the cloud, which make your project smaller, run faster, and make them more scalable when you're updating in the future. And this is especially useful for industrial training where you have multiple devices, you have very high resolution 3D models, and maybe your client wants to be a little bit more involved in the asset art updating process. This is a really great tool for that. So as you can see, all of these have the Echo 3D script attached to them. So what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to the API key by the way, your API key can be found at the top of your Echo 3D console right here. And fill this out for each one of them. And we're going to go to the Axe parent, which in this case is just going to be uh, my Axe. So now that we already have the API key, I'm going to add the entry ID. Uh, if you add a space, it can actually mess it up. So make sure that you're being nice and tight with your copy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with all these others. We're going to do the screwdriver next. The wrench. And last but not least, the tape measure. Very important in a wood shop. You know what they say, measure twice, cut once. There's good reason for that. So in this case, we have left editor preview checked. So we wanna be able to position and resize the models as needed while we're editing live. Another thing that we checked for all four models is we're going to ignore model transformations. This just means that we're going to reset the transforms from zero. Oftentimes when you find a 3D model, it could be off of any website, whether it's the asset store, turbo squid, etc. Sometimes they might be offset or um, there might be a strategic reason that the transform for the actual model is a little bit distorted. So what this does is it sets it basically to zero, 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 so that it's as centered as possible, which is really convenient. And uh, typically what you would kind of expect for a 3D model to make it usable. In order to see editor preview live in action, you just go up here to where it says Echo 3D and load editor holograms. It'll take a second to spawn. So once you do, you'll get a feel for the actual size of the model. So now that we're able to see what they are, we're just gonna go to our game view. As you can see, they're enormous. So obviously we're going to be shrinking down the scale and doing some repositioning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a demo for one of them. Let's start with the ax. And for the sake of focus, I'm just going to turn off the rest of them. We can see how massive this ax really is. And so by clicking on ax parent, you're just gonna go ahead and resize it. It looks like the location is also offset, so we're gonna bring that back into the shop. Perfect, and we are just going to go through and do that with all the other models. And I'll be right back with that. 
So it's important to note that we have added the colliders, the rigid body to everything that we needed. Everything is available to you in the inspector. So as you're adjusting, keep in mind that you wanna make sure that the collider fits accurately. Okay, so now we're going to go test the scene and make sure everything is working. So in this tutorial, you would open the welcome scene first and then hit play. And then this will transition into the garage scene after just a few seconds. And this will give us ample time for the Echo 3D assets to load in from the cloud and then we're able to carry on with the experience. Perfect. And now that you've completed your training, you can move on to level two. And this type of simple demo can apply to any kind of industrial training that you wanna build in Unity. So you could swap out the tools, you could change the environment, you can control the different um, questions and commands that you want your users to go through in order to pass the test, etc. Whatever you need, Echo 3D's got you covered.